Benton Harbor is in the midst of a lead water crisis and it's now getting national attention. Uh, well, the state is now taking action. Some are asking why the problem wasn't resolved when it was first exposed back in 2018. That's exactly the question our consumer investigator Hank Winchester asked of the governor tonight. Hank joins us now and Hank, uh, this situation reminding many of Flint, of course. Devin, obviously, and there are a lot of comparisons. Number one, you've got people in Bennett Harbor who have been complaining about this problem for a number of years. They're relying now solely on bottled water and filters, just like we saw in Flint. And you've got this community of people wondering just how long this problem will drag on. Again, very similar to what we saw in Flint. Benton Harbor dealing with a major lead water crisis. The people in this community now relying on filters and bottled water. People of Benton Harbor, as you know, the situation is escalating. They've been complaining about the situation for a couple of years. Should more have been done sooner on this problem? We are delivering water. We're working incredibly hard to replace the pipes. We've dedicated the funds to do that. It's hard not to draw comparisons to the situation in Flint. People worried about their health, concerned about the future. They feel like they were ignored and, and kind of comparing it to the Flint situation. How do you respond to that? Well, the fact of the matter is we've got a lot of communities that have lead pipes. This is old infrastructure. Um, this is, is not the same as what we saw in Flint, but of course, to a family that is dealing with lead in their water, it is scary. That's why we're moving so quickly to make sure that there is bottled water for families. The problems first exposed here at least three years ago. People complaining about the smell and the taste of the water, just like they did in Flint. And while some resources were sent to Benton Harbor to solve this issue, clearly not enough was done right away. Everybody is concerned about this water. They don't know if the kids are sick or not because they're not doctors. They're stepping in, but they're stepping a little too slow and a little too late. And that's really what it comes down to. And that's what I was trying to get the governor to answer. Should more have been done in 2018 and 19 to address this issue right away? She didn't really answer that part of the question, but did say uh, right now, all hands on deck, the state doing everything it can to not only make sure the people of Benton Harbor have water, like bottled water, and that they also have access to filters, but that the work is now beginning to get rid of those dangerous lead pipes, something that didn't happen in Flint for at least five years. We're live here tonight. Hank Winchester, help me. Exactly here. right. All right, Hank.